Each week our show features one very special quilt, and today's Quilt of the Week is Amy's Wedding Quilt. Linda Carlson began making it when her daughter was only 13 years old. Welcome Linda from Mexico, Missouri. Thank you, Jean. It's my pleasure. Now actually the pattern of this quilt has historical roots. Yes, it does. It was first made by Mary Parks Lawrence, who was 16 years old in 1870, and she lived in Russellville, Kentucky. She made it into a nine block form and I reinterpreted it into four blocks. Now you took the cherry basket blocks as the base and added quite a few personal statements in there. Yes, I did. I envisioned Amy as the outgoing personality that she is in a cardinal. And I always thought that she would marry someone that was a little shy, so I added a little bluebird that's hiding a little bit behind the lower left hand urn. Now Linda, I've noticed you have four purple birds in each corner. Do they represent something also? Yes, they do. They're very special. Red and blue blended together make purple and they represent future grandchildren. For the little bird in the right hand corner, I have Emma Kate's name. She's now two and a half. And in the lower left hand corner, John Scott's name and handprints will be put in as well. Oh, what a sweet idea. Well, Linda, thank you so much, but this pattern looks very advanced. Is it hard to make? No, it wasn't. I first pieced the flowers together and then the urns, and then I appliqued them in place on the background. Well, thanks, Linda. It's a beautiful piece of work. The colors are so vibrant and the pattern is so pretty. Thanks for bringing it and sharing it with us. Thank you, Gina. It's been my pleasure. <music>